Hello and welcome back. In this video, we'll review Rust latest stable release version 1.91.0, released on 30th October 2025. Now it's relatively small update, but we'll go through highlights and try out a few changes to see what's new. So without further ado, let's dive into it. Let's start with the first update, which is a platform change. Arc64 PC Windows MSVC is now a tier 1 platform. So Rust has this tier system when it comes to support for uh, different platforms and tier one targets are basically your first class citizens where uh, you know the highest support is guaranteed every change is well tested before it's merged and as you go down the tier tier two tier three uh, you know the support is not guaranteed and you know you might end up running into some bugs some issues because it's not well tested as well so if you are someone using uh, this target or you want to use then uh, now you can use it more confidently because rust will ensure you get uh, every release uh, well tested and uh, basically uh, ensure that it will work fine. Now let's move to the second change. We all know how strong is Rust ownership and borrow checking. Uh, basically we all love it. But when it comes to raw pointers, Rust kind of gives you the liberty to maybe end up shooting into your own feet and run into dangling references. So as you can see in this code snippet, now we create a X in this function and then we are returning the reference but the problem is x will be destroyed at the end of this function but we are returning the reference so after this latest release rust will give you a warning when you are running into dangling references it will give you the warning saying a dangling pointer will be produced because the local variable x will be dropped because you know it you know created in this function and at the end of the function it will be dropped or destroyed so basically you might up end up running in the uh, dangling pointers so again this is pretty helpful if you work low level and work with pointers and uh, this is how basically by default it's on and you can always turn it off if you want but i would highly recommend you to keep it on even if you don't work with dangling uh, or basically raw pointers and that's kind of it for major changes in this release as i mentioned at the start this is not a huge release when it comes to chain set and as always at the end we get some stabilized apis in the normal context as well as in the const context but there is not much for us to you know play around or observe the differences between prior version or this latest version which is something that we do in all release review videos but for this, uh, I think you guys can try out the stabilized and const context APIs and let me know in the comments what do you think about this latest release. And if you want to update just like me, then copy this command, rest up, update stable and enjoy the Rust 1.91.0. That's it. I'll, take, I'll connect to you in another video. Thank you for watching.